All right, guys, we are here at Emerald Lake. We are going to make our last round to collect the presents. And hopefully... Oh, it's about 15 minutes. Okay, well, we'll just have to wait a little bit. I think what we'll do is we'll get on our boat. And we'll do a little bit of fishing until the time comes. Stop. Quit. I think we may need to advance time a little bit because I think this is not the best of times to do some fishing. But if we get over here to this area right here, I think that Merry Runner is going to help us out a lot that we had from the last episode. Yeah, right about here. And I'm going to go ahead and advance time. Wait a minute. Before I do that, let me check to see what the peaks are. Okay, so we got a peak right around 10 p.m. So I think that's what we'll do is we'll go ahead and advance it to 10. Alright. Well, let's see just how well this sucker does. That's not it. There we go. See if we can get us some walleye, maybe. Yeah, let's try us some walleye here. That's going to be kind of the go, because they did go for it pretty good. I was really pleased. How well they went for it. Let's see if they go for it at night. We got something down there in the water. Wow. That was pretty good. There you go. Yep, they are definitely going for it. Level 44. Awesome sauce. Looks like I can pick up a different boat now. Super Vault 7 and 6. I've already got one. It holds 7, but it holds 6 reels, so that might be worth an investment, too. More deep runners, bigger braid, more carp hooks, now a new carp rod. Cat Boxer 9 foot by ten, 2 inch. A whole bunch of boilies are now available, some pellets are available. Alright, awesome. Level 44. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people way above that, but I have actually been at this longer than they have. Truth is, I took a hiatus. So, and I'm also doing fishing Planet the Fisherman. I did Russian fishing for a while. I did Fisher Online. I've been doing a lot of fishing games. <coughs> that is my dog. Come here. <laughs> yeah, he's being a bit of a butt right now. Let's see if anything is over here, guys. That may be more chain pickerel territory, but I did get a walleye from over here during the daytime so we're gonna see if there's any over here now yep got something I'm not so sure what it is though well the Mary Runner is a pretty heavy-duty rod so this is probably a walleye yeah now see how much cash that's bringing in so while I'm waiting I am cashing in and that's always a good thing. Working my way towards that bass boat. Now, I do like this boat, don't get me wrong, but the bass boat is the. That's going to be the ultimate. 
And I have to get to level 50 to get the best one. Damn, these guys are really biting off of this. As like I said in my last episode, save these lures. These lures, sometimes you find by accident that other fish species go for it. And when you do, they can really help you out. And if you get snagged or get in a situation where you're afraid you're going to lose it, turn the damn game off. <laughs> do not lose this lure. Don't lose it, guys. They are too valuable and you can't get them just anywhere, so... Damn. Me likes this lure. <laughs> yep, I do like this lure. Yeah, this wasn't even our intention to sit here and collect walleye, but hey, when in Rome, you know, take advantage of every situation if you've got it and use it to your benefit. Hm, I didn't get one that time. Surprise! Let's try over here. Like I said, I don't think the pickerel are going to be biting, but they could surprise me. I was here earlier tonight and picked up another unique pickerel. Looks like we we're just getting the walleye, but let me show you. I think I still have him in my fish keeper here. Yep, there he is. We'll take a look at him here, guys. There you go. He was 4.506 pounds. I don't think he's a record for me, but still, nice fish. Nice fish. And I caught him off of this, guys. Just to let you know. <laughs> I would say this, and I'm sure that means that the runners of the 19-foot variety with the two-odd hooks probably will work as well. I don't know if they'll work as well as this one particularly does, but... Well, you never know. I didn't get one that time. Usually if you don't get one, it's best to start moving it around a little bit. I'm not sure how much time it's been. But I don't think it's been 15 minutes quite yet. Damn, it's kind of hard to get started for some reason. Yeah, let's head back over to the dock. We'll see if that... Santa's bag is going to give us free reign here to complete this mission. Sure, it's going ashore. Ah, one minute. Of course, it would be. All right, let's just do a little more fishing here. Kill a little bit more time. I'm seeing a lot of activity right over here, though. I don't know if you saw that fish jump, but sometimes that's a good sign. That's usually bait fish trying to escape a predator, so. might be a predator over there more than willing to go after this lure I have another lure that might do really well here 
that is from the Christmas event. I might try that, see if that does any good. Because this seems to have lived its life. Alright, yeah, I think we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and switch over to this. Actually, let's go back to this rod. Where's the feather light at? Okay, here it is. I knew I had it set up. I couldn't remember where it was. Now, this is the Jolly Spoon. It's only a fourth of an ounce. And we've only got like nine pound test off this feather light. But that's still more than enough to catch walleye here, chain pickerel, anything here, pretty much. So, I do know that it's been a killer for a lot of different species. And we'll see if anything like to go for it. I will happen to be going by that place to head all the activity too. Oh, are you kidding me? Thank God. Well, at least I didn't snag on some object. Wait that much on the downslide of the peak? Kind of surprising. And we were killing them there for a minute and then it just quit. Well, let's check the bag again. Aha! There we go. Now we can go get our last of our presents. Should have more than enough time to do this, so here's the first one. Second one will be over here in this little alcove here. That's why we weren't catching much. So we're going to go ahead and leave. Still managed to pull about enough to make the trip out of that. We'll go ahead and go... Yeah, we're up to 26... 265,000... I'll get that out. 338 cash already, guys. It's not bad at all. So let's go ahead and head on to Moose Lake. And 
here we are. We're going to go ahead and check this out, guys. Let's go do some fishing. See if there's any people here. We might be able to finally get the last of the antlered salmon. If that is the case, that'll get us to our last leg. In the last episode, I did have some people there, and we fished for a while. I managed to get one that was greater than... Oh, man, he's a level 50. Wow. Well, let's see. we got to come over here. And there's the gifts. So that's another big step out of the way. Isn't that light? That's so pretty and picturesque. Anyway... I'm going to check the present here, see if we got anything. Candy wax worms. Cool. Can use that. Can use that. Oh, hi, guys. Hope I'm not intruding. But I am going to go ahead and get this set up, guys. But I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get some antlered salmon. Man, four rods. And if I can do that, guys, we're going after the crystal burbot. That is the final, final mission. And I'm not sure exactly how that has to be handled, but there's a lot involved in it. But let me see here. I'll go ahead and quickly go over that real quick guys see we still got I gotta get two of over 22 pounds and one between 19.85 and 22 pounds that's all I've got left to finish that part of it that will then we summon the crystal fish so we've got Santa's sleigh we've delivered the bag to the sleigh we decorated the Christmas tree then we need to harness the salmon, and then we need to catch the Mystic Crystal Burbot. And if we get that, we get 12 gold, and we get this Christmas Tackle Thermal Box. And that would be awesome. That would be awesome. It be the first time I completed a holiday event to its fullest. There's always one thing that holds me up, and it would be right here that's holding me up. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. As I said before, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And wish me luck, guys. I would love to be able to finish this out for you. Until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I hope you've enjoyed this new Red Dead and Redemption series that I started. It's a little bit different than what I'm used to doing for you guys, but I really am enjoying it, and I hope you do too, guys. Check it out if you get a chance. Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'll be doing more of those. So until then, guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye.